I pay every bill in this house, right? And I fix everything in this house because I'm an electrician. What are you con- What are you bringing to the table? As a woman, what do you realistically do other than have sex? And take notes. So <laughs> what I do is I make that house that you pay for, that you pay that mortgage for, I make it at home. I cook the meals. I'm washing clothes. That's $100 I, a week. Don't play with me. I, I cook, can get it made. No, 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 no. You see, that? You see that's where you're going wrong. It costs more than $100 a week to have somebody cook for you, to have somebody clean up after you because a lot of times you men become our children all right we dress y'all we pick out y'all clothes we cook for y'all we wash y'all's clothes we clean up behind y'all when y'all leave your little uh little little but you saying we speak for yourself because i work in a barber shop right i own my own shop the men complain that they it started off that way but then they start slacking they don't do what the, the they don't keep up with that same type of energy and but they expect the man to keep that same energy of pro- continue on providing in that aspect so you i'm hearing the complaints so you can speak for yourself but a lot of women say i don't want to cook but they i want you to provide, but they, they don't want to cook. cook and i absolutely agree with him on that a lot of women are only going to play the part until they get the man once they get the man and they start getting comfortable, as long as the man is continuously having sex with them, then they don't feel the need to compete for his heart. So don't say we then. Yeah. Okay, well, let, let's let's backtrack. I make a house a home. Okay. All the furniture you get to come home and, and lay up on, I pick that shit out. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 when the paper towels go 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 away in the bathroom, you know who goes to the store to get them? You know who gets on Amazon to get that? All the shit that you don't even think about that makes your life easier, I do that. Let me ask you a question, right? Everything that you're telling me can be bought. Guess what? I can have an assistant order me paper towels and toilet paper and groceries on Amazon. Actually, I get Whole Foods delivered to my house weekly. It's a subscription. I get meal preps every week. My meal preps is $120 and I get three meals a day. I make myself my own breakfast. That's four square meals. I have another cleaning lady. She charges me $100 a week to come clean. You are only saving me $600. And he has a point because you're not going to buy toilet paper every day you're not going to squeaky clean your house every single day majority of men are going to wash their clothes once a week clean the house once a week get toilet paper once a month so you have to understand it's not a everyday thing that you're going to have to keep up with the house especially if it's a single man if there's no children around then they're going to prolong the cleaning situation anyway she's trying to make it sound like when you make a house a home you're going to continuously do these things every day no it's typically going to boil down to once a week services are can be paid for so what are you bringing outside listen if you ask a man what is he bringing to the table i'm bringing a house to the table that i can also a, pay for yeah. myself okay but you're not that I, but i can but you're not but i can but she's overlooking the fact of what he's asking her is she bringing companionship to the relationship is she bringing support to the relationship are you bringing peace to the relationship so that man can continue to pay for the house what are you doing to make his job easier other than maid service that he can pay for because you're not going to need maid service every day you're not and you're not willing to I that's am the willing point to. i was taking care of myself before i was married and then you got Maybe married and stopped taking I care have of multiple yourself mortgages i still take care of shit that's the that's, thing listen i'm not saying you can't make money what i'm saying is what you're bringing what you're bringing to this table is a service that can be paid for versus what a man has to bring into the table for your life you can't buy somebody to buy you a home I could buy somebody to cook and clean for my house. I can't buy a person to come give me a house, give me a car, take care of me, and make sure all my bills but are I in can the still house. And do give that. He's absolutely right. That's what she's ignoring. She's looking at the fact that now she lives alone and she's paying for all of her bills, but she's not going to convince a man to come in her life and pay for everything for her. That's what he's trying to say. What are you bringing emotionally versus monetarily? Because that's what a man wants is emotional support. So that man is strong enough to go out and buy all of these things for you. She's saying, well, I could buy it myself. I could do that. Cool. But you're going to be sad and lonely and you're not going to have anyone because you can't buy a man to come in your life and want to take care of you because naturally that's what a man wants to do. I'm just going to interject here. <laughs> Can I do that? Um, so I just want to say that besides Aaron, I feel like other women have a different approach on 
what they bring to the table. So me specifically, I'm not a female that says I cook, says I clean. I could definitely do all those things, but I definitely don't want anyone to feel like that's my job as a woman in a house. So yeah, I'm not going to come and, and say that that's what I'm doing. But a man is not looking at it from that perspective. Whenever a man says that he wants a woman that can cook and clean and take care of the house, that's because he's fully prepared to wake up every day put his life on the line to go and make money for that woman come home and take care of her but women look at it like oh you just want me to do this like i'm some type of slave no you can't be a great mom and be a great employee a great employer a businesswoman, and all of these things at once a lot of women who become too combative turn into single mothers that end up taking care of the kid by themselves because you ran the man off. But a man is always looking at it from a perspective of, okay, I'm fully prepared to take care of my household and give the money to my woman to form a house. But a woman's always looking like, well, I'm making my own money. I could buy my own car. I could buy my own this. I can take care of it myself. If a man does it for me, then that's oppression. Women are always looking at it from an oppressed point of view a man is always looking at it from a logical standard but old traditional way um me as a female as a as a boss as an entrepreneur i'm gonna dish the money you'll never know that i make more than you that i make less than you i'm always gonna treat my partner as an equal me even if i even if you're if i'm making more than you i will never want to take the masculinity away from my my partner um, and saying, oh, well, I make more and blah, blah, blah. But if we're going to go half and half on the bills, I'll, I'll pay this bill and this bill. What, what you paying this this month? Truthfully, women only talk like that whenever they are single and they are desperate. Whenever they get in a relationship, a woman is still going to revert back to my money is my money and his money is my money. See, women are going to make 50,000 a year just so they have the confidence to feel like they deserve a man that makes 150,000 a year. So when women start talking about their independence, they're just functional adults that want an achievement for doing things that the average person has to do. But she's still thinking, here's my value. I have to be with a man who's doing better than me in case what I'm doing doesn't work out. Hypergamy is their true nature. What? You agree? Yes, I want to be with you, but <laughs> then you know I'm... what? No, you know what? All right, you either marry me or you reimburse me. It's that simple. I have the ring already. All you got to do is get on your knees and propose. Are you kidding me? You can't take everything that you've put into the relationship and then try to force that man into marrying you. See, a man has the power to marry. A woman has the power of sex. When you start giving up the sex easily, you know, a man doesn't value it. If a man just went and tried to marry every woman, the woman doesn't value him. So with the man not marrying, he holds his value. Why? Because history shows that once a woman marries into a man, then she starts to play the role. She stops playing the role that he liked in the first place. Your Honor, she is not going to rob I'm me of my gonna... manhood That's and the man is. that... I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to get a ring. I'm going to propose Here, to her when the time one. is right. Take this one. I have not, I have not even take got to one. build a relationship with her family. In but case no one else has figured this out, y'all are not compatible. You are <laughs> living in a fantasy world, baby. <laughs> in a fantasy world. She's desperate. It's been five years. In those five years, she's just grown to love him any more even more because he's not holding up but he's being correct i want to get to know your family i want to see what i'm marrying into don't nobody want to marry a woman that's going to be coming with a whole bunch of problems and baggage and when you see women desperate like that typically that means there's something wrong with her childhood which goes back to the parents i don't blame them and you are not going to sit here on this room with me and cry over somebody that does not deserve your tears. Absolutely not. Are you saying you don't want me? I do want, I do want to marry you. Your Honor, Your Honor, I have, one, I have one more thing to say, and I did not want to bring this up. 
This is what happens when you start talking to other women about your problems. They shift things into a emotional point of view. You see how all the women are clapping like, yeah, you should have married her already. You should have did this. Why? It's only a ring and paperwork. A hundred years ago, there was no wedding rings. There was no paperwork. 200 years ago, nobody did paperwork for marriage. Marriage used to be a business. And then they wanted to sell diamond rings. They wanted to sell flowers. And then they wanted to sell chocolate. So they turned it into a ceremony. So everyone thought they was the queen of England. You have to go back and study the history of marriage. Now women are acting like this is life or death situation. It's not. It's a fair Fairy tale that you want to complete because you want your life to be like a movie. But men are smarting up. Men are like, listen, I'll date you for a long period of time. But before I make a commitment, I need to check you all the way. I need to check your family. I need to check exactly where you came from. But I went through her phone. <laughs> Don't they all? Yeah. I'm and I saw her having a conversation with somebody and I find out she's been lying to me. And she has her tubes tied. Oh. You know, that you, you know I wanted to have a baby with you. You know I want to marry you. But you've been lying to me. You've been leading me on this entire time. Wow. I was going to tell you or about. Tied. I was, yes, they are. I was going to tell you, but they can be reversed. It's $10,000. Okay. I already have the doctor on speed okay. down. What's up? Now, that's some deep stuff. Even though she was she was waiting till she found the guy that she wanted to have a kid with. But that is something that she should have told him from the gate. And now she's saying, hey, I can take it off and we can have a child. So in my opinion, she should have told him she wrong for that. But she was being smart. She wasn't going to go out here and just have kids. So you got to give her some credit for that. What's up? I have the doctor on speed. He can reverse those. He can reverse that. That's easy. So, Miss Thompson, to be honest with you, if you've been saying you wanted to have a baby and he found out X amount of months ago how long how long had did you have that procedure how long ago 20 years ago how many Bomba. 20 years ago you had the procedure how old is she like she may be at that age where you really don't want to have a child at that point but 20 years ago i don't think that's going to be reversible sweetheart y'all get in the comments to let me know what would you do oh my god about it's reversible. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. This is embarrassing. Sir. No, you were grown. There man. was a moment that I only thought that you were the user in this room. I was wrong. You kind of both deserve each other because I have never seen the most dysfunctional people who lie to each other, who steal each other's dreams, who pretend that they are in love, but they have no respect for themselves or each other. The example that you are setting for your child is not one that I admire. And sir, pay for your own stuff. All right, y'all, question is, why are men saying no to marriage? Hmm, good question. Let's get into it, family. Number one, perception of the loss of freedom. I pray that none of you guys choose a spouse that makes you feel like you have to lose yourself in order to be with them. Number two, fears about potential divorce. Number three, unwillingness to make the sacrifices that marriage requires. Number four, men today can get the benefits of a connection with a woman without commitment. Thank you, modern dating. Number five, there is not a lot of messaging about how marriage actually benefits men. It's from what we see in media, it seems like it's just a contractual agreement that benefits women. But we know there are some benefits and there are some strong male voices in the men's space have and still advocate for marriage. Again, y'all, I know this ain't popular, but I do believe the enemy is at work in our marriages and in destroying families. And I don't want him to win. The problem is people have too many options and everybody feel like they can do better. The key for a man is self-control. For women, it's authenticity. You have to say authentic as possible because our body tells us so much. Our body will tell you when you're craving a child, when you're getting angry because our hormones are all over the place. For a man, your body sometimes speaks against you. It will crave pleasure. Your key to successful mental health is complete and utter self-control in terms of your mind, body, and soul. You control what you consume. You control who you put yourself into. You don't go and sleep with every single one. You actually gain far more self-esteem when you reject 
women than when you accept women. That man that has women that he's rejecting feels far greater than that man who can't say no to anybody because he's jumping at the opportunities. Self-control even with what you eat. When I have clients that come to me and they've got a bit of depression, I say to them, until you go to the gym, and until you lose weight, there's no conversation that me and you can have that will change your self-esteem. It won't do it. Don't have to have a six pack, but self-control. Now, when a man practices self-control, he becomes such an unshakable being. She's absolutely right. That's what men need to work on in 2024 is self-improvement. When you start to self-improve, your confidence go up and people will treat you differently. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels and go watch some other videos.